Hey Sparkies, this is video number one of a new series I'm creating. If you like this sort of content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into the question. A listed electric heating appliance that has resistance type heating elements shall have the heating elements subdivided into circuits protected at not more than blank amperes. A60, B100, C120, D150. First, before you even begin, pick an answer. Your best educated guess. Mark it and start your timer. You have about three minutes per question. If you can't find the answer in less than three minutes, go with your edu best educated guess and move on. Next, we need to find the key words within the question that give you an idea of where the answer may be located in the NEC. Let's look at some of the key words in this question. Listed is the first keyword I see and listed this is important because it tells you that it is code compliant, but it's also irrelevant because it's not going to help you find the answer. So let's ignore that one for now. Electric heating appliance is the next big keyword that I see. And this is great because it's answering the question of what, what are we trying to find information about on electric heating appliance? Now, of these three words in here, I think the bigger key word is appliance. Appliance is telling me that we should probably be looking for the answer in the article about appliances and not electric heating equipment. Uh, this question specifically states appliance, and so I think that's really important here. Resistant heat, or uh, excuse me, electric heating appliances. Equipment is a completely different article, so that's a big one and an important one to know is appliances. Next, it's going to have resistance type heating elements. So again, it's giving us a little bit more details about this appliance, and it's likely going to lead to a subsection within an article. So that's good to know. Shall have shall have and shall not are what is called a mandatory rule. If we look at Art NEC article 90.5 section A, it says that rules of the National Electrical Code are that are specifically requiring or specifically prohibiting are characterized by these phrases of shall and shall not. So this, this is saying shall have, this is likely going to be very specifically listed within the NEC article we find the answer. Next, we're going to look at uh, heating elements, which blah, 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 we know about heating elements subdivided into circuits protected at not more than blank amperes. So now I think the there is no other further keywords in this. It's really going to be the whole ending of the question because it's giving you basically two different details. The heating elements are going to be subdivided and the subdivided circuits are going to be protected by not more than blank amps. So again, Looking at all this question as a whole, my instinct would tell me to look at appliances. Uh, if you don't know where to find the appliance section in the NEC, you can use the index or the table of contents. If we use the table of contents, which is located at the front of the book, I can see article 422 covers appliances. If we use the index, you can also search uh, alphabetically and find appliances, and that also leads you to Article 422. The index, however, has more subcategories listed, which can help us narrow down our search even more. Uh, there is no subsection for electric heating or heating in general, so there's no help there. But I do see overcurrent protection listed as Article 422.11. You may be thinking, where is overcurrent protection coming from? Well, 
overcurrent protection is the same as circuit protection, right? The goal is to limit the current and to avoid sending too much current or overcurrent, right? So we're talking about circuit protection. So circuit protection is the same as overcurrent protection. So let's go ahead and take a look at that article 422.11. If we skim over the subsections for overcurrent protection, we can see uh, section F in article 422.11, electric heating appliances employing resistance type heating elements. Exactly what we see up here, an electric heating appliance employing resistance type heating elements. So this is exactly what we were looking for in this article or in this question, right? So that's really great news that 422.11 is leading us all to the right direction. Now it says employing resistance type heating elements rated more than 48 amperes. 48 amperes, all the answer choices here are more than 48. So again, I think we're in the right direction still. If we keep reading within the article, blah, 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 uh, it says here, each subdivided, ah, subdivided load shall not exceed 48 amperes and each subdivided load shall be protected. So shall be protected. Uh, where am I? Shall be protected at not more than 60 amps and it says word for word not at not more than 60 amperes so a is our question our a is our not our question excuse me a is our answer <laughs> excuse me so uh how was how good was your guess even before we looked into the articles of trying to find the answer did your was your guess right what did you guess wrong uh the better you get at your educated guesses the faster you can get again you only have three minutes to really look these questions up uh we spent a little over seven just trying to go over trying to find this so it's a lot of explaining going on and with time you'll get faster so don't feel bad uh you may know right out the gate that article 422 covers appliances you may not uh, you can also if you if your state allows it having tabs on your code book you can look at your tabs and look go straight to the article with uh, appliances about appliances and you can also find your question or your answers to your questions a little bit faster that way uh, again, this is video number one of a new series I'm creating. Uh, the series is going to be called Think Like a Master Electrician. Uh, I'm a master electrician and I want to make sure others out there can achieve their goals in becoming a journeyman or a master themselves. So again, if you like this sort of content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know. Thanks for watching.